Today is Monday, July 24th. I'm Terrence Friday with your digital brief. Let's take a look at your top stories of the day. First, an update on the man accused of killing two year old Winter Smith. Michigan Attorney General Dana Nessel is filing charges against Rashad Trice. Trice is facing 20 state charges, including first degree premeditated murder and felony murder. He also faces federal charges for allegedly kidnapping and killing the toddler, plus assaulting her mother, who is his ex girlfriend. Beji's office is also charging Trice as a fourth offense habitual offender. A major ruling in the Michigan Court of Appeals on gun rights. The court upheld a ban on firearms at the University of Michigan's campus. The court decided that because it's a school, it can be exempt from the Second Amendment mandates. The ruling is a major test of what can be considered a legal gun free zone. Pro gun advocates argue that blanket restrictions like the one at U of M make it harder to exercise the right to carry and make you less safe. The state is spending millions of dollars to replace water mains and lead lines in Highland Park. Eagle says more than $10 million will be spent to replace four miles of water main lines in the Oak Street area between Woodward and I-75. This funding comes from Eagle's Clean Water Grants, and that also is going to continue to help those communities throughout the state. We turn now to next weather meteorologist Kylie Miller for an update on the forecast. Well, today temperature is going to be near normal. Highs will climb into the middle 80s. Then our temperatures are going to get cranking. It's going to turn hot by the end of the week. We have a string of 90s for Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. Plus our humidity is going to be high too. So it's going to feel, especially on Thursday and Friday, like we're in the middle 90s. Now today expect a good amount of sunshine. An isolated rain shower storm could pop up, especially near the lake shore. Tomorrow, mostly sunny sky conditions. On Wednesday, we do have an elevated chance for some significant weather. We're going to be monitoring some strong to potentially even some severe storms. Right now, it looks like it's going to be a Wednesday afternoon evening time frame. Then we're going to have drier conditions for Thursday before more rain and storms impact us on Friday. 85 the high temperature on Saturday, 80 degrees on Sunday with partly cloudy skies. Terrence. Thanks, Kylie. That's going to do it for today's digital brief for weather, news and sports. We're covering it all for you here on CBS News Detroit, streaming live on the CBS News app and Pluto TV.